What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but um, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, shoe maintenance and how to keep your stuff clean uh, in between uh, in between wears, or you know, if you picked up some kicks that are uh, a little bit dirty, how to take care of them. So this is going to be a little bit of a how-to video. Um, guest starring my two volunteers here. Got the Oreo Sixes and LeBron Prisms. These are two of my daily wear kind of shoes. The Sixes obviously I wear a little bit more than the Bronze, but uh, this is just going to be a little bit of a how-to. I'm going to take you over to my tools. Don't mind anything else that's on the counter, by the way. Um, got a bowl of hydrogen peroxide. Just regular hydrogen peroxide. I picked this up at Walgreens. Box of baby wipes. Got a Mr. Clean scrubber sponge. This one's kind of used, as you can see, but still works great. Two different kinds of brushes. I got a toothbrush and like a fine bristle brush with really stiff bristles. And last but not least, disposable razor. Um, each one of these guys plays a different part. Um, obviously the, the peroxide and the baby wipes are for general cleaning. Um, the scrubber sponge is uh, best on white stuff, as I'm going to show you with the sixes. The brushes go along with the peroxide in case you need to uh, get in and dig in the dirt a little more. And this is for taking care of little sock bunnies. <clears throat> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with this guy, because this guy is like king. Um, this is a Mr. Clean scrubber sponge. You can pick these up. It doesn't have to be Mr. Clean brand. Uh, you know, you can pick some up at the dollar store for like a buck. But uh, these are basically scrubber sponges that are impregnated with baking soda. And they're the absolute best for cleaning off white shoes. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that it's not dry because it doesn't work. Sweat it up. Give it a couple squeezes. I'm going to bring the sixes over here. All right. So, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to give you guys a look at the sixes right now. You see the bottom's pretty dirty. What you want to do here is take the, take the sponge, lay it down. Don't push on it. All right, just rest your hand on it and let the sponge do the work. You're going to start scrubbing at it. I'm only going to scrub a little portion so you can see how much of a difference this guy makes. So you can scrub at it. You're going to get little pieces of the sponge flying off, whatever, that's fine. Just scrub at it, scrub at it. To really get stuff out, I mean, you know, the bottoms of these are pretty darn dirty. It's going to take you a little while. You can uh, you can use kind of the corner of the sponge like this to get in like little creases. Use the flat part to get in the larger areas. But I've been rubbing this for, you know, maybe like 10 seconds or so. And hopefully it comes out what kind of a difference that has made. See that? That's just a couple seconds worth of rubbing. Obviously, you can continue that throughout the whole shoe. Um, what you do want to do, because it gets pretty dirty as you're scrubbing, is get the rinse. That's it. Water, a couple squeezes, good to go. This is especially good on uh, focus, on midsoles. White parts of midsoles right here, right here, all along the toe box. You just run it over it, and it turns white, like instantly. just run it over it like that and I don't know because of the light it's not really coming out how much of a difference this is making but it gets really white really fast maybe on the toe here um, also works on leather you just you know wipe it down these are already I keep the leather on these pretty clean um, but definitely on white shoes, this is what you want to use. White shoes, white outsoles, white midsoles, all that stuff um, is awesome to use. Another thing you want to use is the hydrogen peroxide. Um, I use peroxide because it's not water. Um, these have the, the clear soles. Obviously, they've yellowed up because I wore them so much. Um, but on other shoes, like uh, I've got some Zoom rookies that I try to take care of that they have the clear soles that I'm trying to keep them clear. Your worst enemy is water. You walk around, people think it's just walking around outside on the asphalt, it's not, it's water. Any kind of moisture. So you want, like if it's raining, don't wear them. If it's humid outside, don't wear them. If you're stocking them, stick them in a plastic bag, throw some silica gel in there, seal it up, make sure it's dry, dry, dry in there because that's what happens, it yellows up. So you know, imagine this was, you know, like a Zoom Rookie or a, Retro 11 or something, something that had all clear soles. 
you don't want to use this on it because you soak it in water and that's going to make it yellow up. It's going to get it clean, but it's going to yellow it up. So what I use is hydrogen peroxide. I'm pretty sure this doesn't make it yellow because it's worked for a long while on my other shoes. But you just take a, take a brush, in this case, you know, just a, a toothbrush. And you just start scrubbing at it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna turn everything white, but it's gonna clean it. And you can see that getting lighter brown, I guess. You just dip, keep going at it. For really stubborn spots, you can use this. This has, the bristles are like super firm versus the, uh, versus the toothbrush. You can see that's almost as white as the uh, Magic Eraser, um, which is a couple strokes. But again, I would clean the entire shoe with this, especially the clear parts, and then maybe go back and hit the white parts with the Magic Eraser, taking care to not get any water on on the uh, clear sole part. All right, that's uh, that's part one of the video. My camera is apparently dying, so I'm gonna come back, charge it up, and hit you guys with part two in a little bit. Stay tuned because after that I'm also going to give you an update on the 12 and 13 restoration projects.